Welcome to the video, my friends. Today, we're going to get an update on Battlefield 2042 with Season 1 Zero Hour. The new map, Exposure, is actually a really good map. I think it's got some really good reception, and I've enjoyed my playtime. I think I had uh, 20 hours, roughly, on Steam up until a little just before the Season 1 launch, and then Season 1, I've gone up to 80-plus hours. So I've really enjoyed the Exposure map and the content, though we could have had more content in Season 1, in my opinion, a few more guns. The, uh, the the content we got is okay. I, I do like the uh, the VSS inspired gun. Uh, the crossbow is pretty fun to play with in like deathmatch modes and being sneaky and stuff like that. You can get some one shot kills with it as well. And uh, the VSS is really good once you've got it leveled up. Is a good. It is a really good multi purpose weapon. Quickly changing the attachments on the fly, and you can pretty much dominate the battlefield. The new map exposure really gives me Battlefield Three, Battlefield Four vibes. Uh, Dam Van Peak. Uh, comes to mind with the verticality dropping off the cliff and getting into action really fast with your parachute or your wingsuit in 2042's case and uh yeah there's there's just a really good mix of balanced gameplay with choppers you can dive down between the cliffs and the, the broken cliff faces uh get cover from homing missiles and things like that i've really enjoyed my time with choppers on this map and the uh infantry play is as well has been just as fun because you could dive off these cliffs and that's just all people want a bit of epic action there's, there's more to it than that but uh yeah you've got these cool tunnels you can fly choppers through you can do some cool stuff there's loads of camping spots on the cliff face i did notice though one issue that it kind of pushes you away i don't know if that's supposed to be like simulating wind kind of pushing you away from the cliff but there's some parts you can't really access uh which uh, i don't mind the camping on it i've done it myself but you know it kind of stops you getting into certain places it might be perfect for you to nest with your sniper rifle or your new homing launcher with your new specialist i have actually enjoyed the new specialist and the new homing launcher it's uh definitely a learning curve to getting that launcher to, to hit the target but once you get there it's uh, pretty pretty satisfying to use against choppers and tanks you can boost the rocket as well with left shift but it does become pretty uncontrollable and a lot harder to turn once that boost is engaged but you can catch up with vehicles that are moving pretty fast like the helicopters or the jets so with the release of season one zero hour there has been a significant increase with the player base may saw a 1945 average players and currently uh, in the last 30 days we see 6205 and in the last seven minutes 5180 as of the making of this video the 24 hour peak of 7267 so it's pretty pretty uh pretty high players compared to what it was like a month before release 219 percent increase and being a long time battlefield fan 21 plus years where whatever it was 942 come out is really good to see that they can actually claw back some of that player base uh is it enough though is it enough and is it going to continue with season two uh, i hope so uh more maps like this more weapons more portal content would be great Another thing I, as well that really bummed me out was wanting to play just normal 1942 and it's really hard to find. It's not on the portal page. I think a redesign of the portal page would be ideal and make the 1942 Bad Company Battlefield 3 content easy to find and play. Of course, we do have the big update coming in August, which is going to redesign a couple of the maps and change a lot of the voice acting, uh, remove some, change some, improve some. So we'll see what else comes with that big update that they've not announced or that they have announced that I can't really think of right now making this video. Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I am actually enjoying Season 1 Zero Hour, though I am playing with friends, uh, playing with Kirk quite a lot, and viewers when I stream it, viewers join the squad if there's room. So we've had a lot of fun with it so far, though there are bugs. Don't get me wrong, we've, we've blown up the uh, VTOLs and the uh, VTOL corpse is still floating in the air, kind of, yeah. There's still broken parts of the game. Don't get me wrong. It's not perfect. There's still a ways to go. But uh, I am actually enjoying it now. Uh, my player hours from launch uh, up until Season 1 launch, just on this new map with the new content to play with. I mean, the Battle Pass probably helps. You've got something to work towards. There's more weekly missions now. So there's something to actually do in the game. Um, being purely just a multiplayer game, it needed something and more of that something to keep us occupied and interested in the game so if they can carry on that in season two more content and more of those uh good skins to unlock and things like that that's what people want all the things we say about fortnite but you cannot fault the content season passes and things they do their content is top tier 
So if Battlefield can just latch onto that and keep it coming, keep it coming, keep people interested. The internet has a very short lifespan. I know a lot of us Battlefield players are older and we like that more uh, Battlefield type of gameplay, the old school gameplay. Um, but still, you know, bringing in new players, you want that battle pass, you've got to keep fresh for the youngsters, you know what I mean? But talking about multiplayer only, there are words of a campaign being worked on as well. Uh, there's no official word yet. I think there's just some hirings going on in Seattle for a narrative-based Battlefield game. I saw Jack did a video on it, so go over and check his video for more information on that. And that's about where I am at with 2042 at the moment. I thought I'd update people with uh, what Battlefield is at the moment, where it's at, its current state, and my thoughts on the Season 1 map and content. Exposure is a very good map. But going back to the old maps after playing Exposure, eesh, they feel very bland. Exposure's it, it very good, and it makes everything else look bad. So we'll have to wait for this next big August update for those revamps on the old maps, the legacy maps for 2042. See what that improves uh, for us in gameplay-wise and choices that we can do on the battlefield. Uh, like I said, Exposure gives us all those choices. We can play how we want, and it just makes it so much more enjoyable when classic... feels like a classic battlefield map, if you know what I mean. More like Battlefield 3 battlefield 4 so that's what people wanted and we didn't really get that with 2042 so i think seeing that kind of thing shine through is what's really made uh people really latch onto this a lot more than they have done in the previous months since actual launch of 2042 let me know your thoughts in the comment section below though just a quick update and a current state on 2042 report from me hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like the video as it does share the video out there gets it around youtube with that algorithm don't forget to subscribe. It is totally free. I had somebody actually ask me the other day, this don't cost me anything, does it? Uh, no, no, it's totally free on YouTube. It just lets you know when I upload a video in the subscriber tab. So do that if you want to see more content. Or don't do it. It's totally up to you. Stay safe. I love you all. And I'll see you peeps next time. Ah. Alpha objectives under control. Sector secure. Ouch. No. <laughs> <laughs>